Greetings, humanity of planet Earth. We are, anonymous. It is with severe reticence, hesitance and resistance, that we send this message to you, the people of Baltimore, the people of the world, the little boys in blue, and the tyrannical powers in the government. In a sea of flooded messages, hasty reasoning, partial information and distracted attention, we are loath to say anything about the events that have erupted following the murder of Freddie Gray. Yes, we call it murder. The district attorney is more than welcome to charge the boys in Baltimore blue with negligent homicide or manslaughter, but the charges must be filed. The same is true across America, if we want to continue to call it America. Land of the free? Or, home of the slave? Freddie Gray did not die to have his neighborhood ripped apart, and we, the members of the resistance, cannot condone the attacks against unrelated targets. Yes, we are sure that looting and burning a Walgreens in Ferguson, or a CVS in Baltimore was a crime of opportunity. But the real opportunity here is, to address an overall failing of a corrupt system that includes big pharmaceutical companies' influence over the tyrannical powers that are in the government. The uprising, yes, we are sure that filling the streets in an uprising against injustice is the right thing to do, but ask yourselves, who are you angry with? Where is the injustice? Is what you are doing conducive to correcting that injustice? What we saw in Baltimore. The thousands that gathered peacefully, ignored by the corrupt corporate paid mainstream media, in favor of the few hundred causing senseless damage, also served to correct the injustices. The little boys in blue, exist to protect property, and enforce laws. They have been trained by military forces, including those of the United States, and Israel, not to pacify a situation, but to oppose it by any means necessary. The violence begets more violence. As drones rain missiles down in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Palestine, Syria, Libya, and Iraq, the number of insurgents increases. Likewise, as one American is killed every eight hours by the little boys in blue here in the United States, we understand how you, too, can become an insurgent, when the unfortunate incident is brushed aside by the police, and you breaking a window, is violent. The tyrannical powers in the government have, for decades, enacted legislation and policies that have robbed us, across the world, of our ability to govern ourselves, or even care for ourselves. Employment is a commodity sold to the lowest bidder. Innovation that reduces costs is heralded, while innovation that provides clean energy, stable employment or a living wage, is buried through hostile corporate takeover or legal action, and then brushed away. We have been forced into the cities, only to see the cities fall apart due to high cost of living, and scarcity of sustainable employment. Our education system does not teach us how to think for ourselves, innovate, create and motivate. Instead, it lines us up in single file, to take a test of how well we have learned, winner chosen facts, that do not help us gain employment, maintain employment, or sustain ourselves. While the little boys in blue acquire flashy toys to monitor your phone calls and text messages. While the little boys in blue are under orders to write a certain number of fundraising tickets per day, or arrest a certain number of people. While the private prison industry exists to add to the criminal code, to add to their bank accounts. While politicians in the United States spend more to jail more Americans than they spend to educate our children. Than we, as humanity must finally realize and recognize, that the true assault on the American people, and the people of all over the world, are by an unrepresentative American government, controlled by a very select and money-rich few. It is not the death of Mike Brown, Eric Garner, Tamir Rice, James Boyd, or Freddie Gray. The true assault against the people of the world, is an assault upon the environments, both natural and man-made, that we are dying in. And we, cannot breathe. The true assault against the people of the world, is an assault upon our natural rights by a system, that imposes an order to represent and protect a select few. The true assault against the people of the world, is an assault on our minds and behavior, by controlling what thoughts we are allowed to think, and what actions we have means to take. The true assault against the people of the world, 
is an assault on our very ability to live and provide for ourselves as free persons, living in peace and unity. While Americans are killed by a little boy in blue every day, 7 billion people of the world are at all times, every day killed, little by little, by a system engineered to benefit the select few. We are all ready for a mass uprising. Unaccountable police brutality, provides a welcome space to begin to demand justice. In the demand for justice, however, please keep in mind, that this is not justice just for Freddie Gray and all who were murdered, this is justice for all of us, against a system that assaults us, through the food we eat, the corrupt corporate paid media that is thrust upon us, the air we breathe, the hollow statements of politicians, the devastation of our physical environment, for obsolete oil-based technologies, and the monopolization of the one world economy. Targeting local stores may satisfy a very short-term need for a short time. However, the masses gathered at the doorsteps of the offices of selected representatives singing for justice in one voice, can satisfy the long-term needs of us all. We may not agree on how to achieve a change in the tyranny, but there are solutions. There are solutions for local, organic farming. There are solutions for the free and open exchange of information. There are solutions for renewable energy. There are solutions for eliminating the systemic corruption of our governments. There are solutions for an obese criminal code. There are solutions for achieving peace throughout the world. These solutions, call for the ending of the Federal Reserve, IMF, World Bank, free trade agreements, and many corrupt-like bank establishments. The continued support of alternative media outlets and citizen journalism, solar panels, water desalination, ending the devastating practice of fracking, public financing of elections, decriminalizing non-violent crimes and victimless crimes, locking the revolving door between K Street, Wall Street, and governments, and, last here but certainly not least, holding the little boys in blue accountable for the crimes that they commit while just doing their so-called jobs. Granting immunity to diplomats, elected officials and public servants incentivizes illicit activity by placing them above the law. If we are to truly be a civilized society, then the laws must be written for the greater good, not to bail out and profit a select few. If we are to truly be a civilized society, then the laws must be applied to everyone, and not exempt a select few. If we are to truly be a civilized society, then the uprising must be conducted with civility, even when resorting to violence. The only time violence is to be accepted, is in moments of self-defense, prescribed by the natural law, of do no harm, but take no shit. We, humanity of planet Earth, exist in a moment that truly calls for self-defense of the whole of civilization, against the assaults of economic power brokers and governmental tyrants. If Freddie or Tamir or Eric or Mike or James or the hundreds of others are going to die, let their deaths spark an uprising that eliminates the system that allowed their deaths to happen in the first place, instead of giving the tyrannical powers in the government an excuse to increase the weight of their collective boot, on our collective throat. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. This will no longer be tolerated. To the tyrannical forces in the White House and the Federal Reserve. Expect us.